Okay, this is a tubeless trailer tire, 500 by 10, and it's got a puncher. Well, it's had a puncher, and I thought well, it's a brand new tire, and I can't waste it. If you can see that. So what I've done, let all the air out, and someone's put that liquid stuff in, um, but it's not foam. It's just there's nothing in there. If you can see, it's just a bit of moisture. So what I want to do is pull the outer rim out over the rim, but pull the tire over the rim and have a look at it. So what I've done, let all the air out, and then I've got a knife and just cut off the valve and then pop the other bit inside, but I'll get that out in a bit. And I've got a new inner tube off eBay, seven quid delivered, so that's all right. Throw that away. So what I did then, after we took all the air out, I put the tire on the floor, like so. Throw it on there, sorry about my sandals and my lovely looking feet and the other side until it dropped into the rim. So I push down on that. And now what I'm gonna do is, what you do is push the tire down at the sides here, push it down in, so it, so it dips into the hollow. If you can see that in there. So you want it to dip into there. Push it forward and then I'm gonna get a tool and pull that out. So I'll show you that in a sec. Okay, I'll just show you that. I'm using push bike um, tire levers. I don't know if they're going to do I've just tried and it just worked. So push the rim down. You can see that in the inside. Yep. Push the rim down on the inside. I'll fetch that one back in a minute. Lean him over. Release a little bit. We can see that. Oh, that's okay. That's it. Keep him on that. Keep bringing him over if you can. A little bit tight. We end up breaking these. That oh, was going. Should have given a minute. There you go. Ah. So that's him. There you go. And now I'm going to do is check. Which will take me a while. But what you got to do is check all round the tire now. Because when I got this, it was already punctured. So I don't know where the puncture is, or if they took the nail out or the screw. So I've got to double check. And I'm going to place it with an inner tube. And if anybody out there says it's illegal, then tell me, and I will change the whole lot. I can't see why it is, but it's only for towing a boat. So, And uh, I'll show you in a minute when I'm putting it all back together again in a sec. Okay, so, so to get into the tire properly, you're probably going to have to flip it over and force this side down. Or we'll drop it on the floor, like I've done before. Give me a sec. And tread on it. If you can see that. Sorry. Two secs. You want to force the tire off the rim. It might not let you with the other one underneath. No, it should do. There. Even a piece of wood. Or possibly a hammer. There you go. So you want to force that off. The rim. So that means then, oh look, I'm going to wipe all that gunk out. Oh, sorry. 
You can see that and all that gunk in there. So I'm going to wipe all this out with a cloth, put my hand and feel all the way around for any punctures and then we'll put it back together. You can't really see, I'll show you. So we've got some gunk in there, which I'm going to get out with the cloths. All I'm doing is this. I'm drying all that. If it is illegal, I mean, tell me, because I don't know. I mean, it could be the punch. It might not even be punctured. It might be the fact that the rim around here is not sealing properly. So I'm going to wipe it pretty clean. Go all the way around. Clean the rim. I'll pull the drum this side and give that a wipe. using paper. I might put a bit of tape around here if you can see this rust and get that off where the inner tube's going to sit against because you don't want that. So I'll put some, I don't know, I'll use some sort of tape. But like I said it could be the, just the rim. It's not very good. You could use duct tape or masking tape, I don't know what you're going to use. Right, so I'll check inside now for a puncture by just running my hand around like that and, and the inner walls as well, around here. Because the last thing I want to do is put the inner tube in and end up being punctured again. And then Inspect it on the outside as well. I can't feel anything. Yeah, so I'll give it a good inspection. And then I'll show you putting the inner tube in. Come with a fine wire brush. Rust on it. <laughs> Wipe any muck off. tube in there in a sec flipping it over I'm gonna get a bit of masking tape Is just to protect the, the inner tube. You can remember from our old push bike days. Okay, line up the hole. So the hole is here, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, so I'm line up the inner tube like that. Tuck him in. Tuck him 
tubes there a bit. Oh, I gotta get that in tube. through nice and tight and now what you've got to do is put the rim back down again so you need to get the rim so if we get start this side sort of thing and really get it right down this is going to be fun so I'll come back to you when I've sussed it out sorry folks but it was quite easy <laughs> It was just a bit of force, so I just pushed the tie around the rim, pushed this part down here first into the into the groove, used my knee, held it there, and just pushed it on. So it's on. Next thing is to pump it up. So you want to make sure when you put the pressure in, it should force the rim, the the tire rim, to hit this outer rim. So just you want to check your PSI. So we've got 50 here. So I just want to get me uh, charger, me pump, me charger, me pump. Go okay, back to pop inside. Not because it's raining, which it is a little bit, but because it's using uh, my pump runs off a cigarette lighter. So got a little bit of, on my finger, a little bit of washing up liquid. I'm just going to pop that round the rim. That'll be both sides. Excuse me, baby, my foot. Cats just come in. I hate them in here. That's why. Right, flip him over. Get the cat out you go, mate. Thank you. This is not legal, please tell me. I'm not too sure. I have Googled it. I haven't come up with anything. And if it is, if you just leave me a comment down below would be great. Like and subscribe would be great. Share would be great. So let's just get this up and running. Another eBay purchase, a pump. Okay, fingers crossed them, so power on. Don't put your fingers around the rim. It is going. So it's 50 psi, so... rattling on the table. Uh, that's five so far.
10. There's a lot more than 10. It seems to be sitting on the rim okay, it hasn't sort of popped so. What I'll do with this, pull the valve really tight through, like I've done. That seems to be alright, and I'll leave it now for a couple of nights. I might just put a bit more air in it, still a little bit. But it seems to be sitting on the rim alright, as you can see, you can see that so. Sorry. So it's sitting on the rim, all right. Okay. I'll pop a bit more air in and um, see how it goes. I know the valve usually has a little bit of a lip on it, so I'm not too sure what to do about that. I mean, but if the energy is pretty well pumped up, I don't think it'll go back in, but. Yeah, please, any advice, please let me know. Thanks very much. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you in the next vid.